Hey, it's Terzu. Welcome to the video. Today I'm getting back into user made games and Game Builder Garage. So I didn't show it last time, but the way to access the games from other people is to go into the free programming section from the menu. And then you go to the receive menu. You receive from online. And you can enter either the game's ID or the ID of the programmer. If you enter the idea of the programmer, it'll show you all the games that that person has shared. Today I'm going to be trying games with a little bit more polish, and you may have seen them recommended elsewhere. The first game we're going to be showing off is Mario Kart by Zelda Boy. Ooh, zooming! It looks really nice on here. Really nice sprites. So the controls are pretty decent. I guess you could say they may be a little bit sensitive. But I'd say kind of reminiscent of how the game's played on the Super Nintendo. Because uh, the older consoles, they tended to have like a ice floor effect. Like if you ever went back and replayed the original Super Mario Bros, the character was kind of slow to start moving, kind of slow to stop. When I read, I think you can also change the character, too. You can be eight different characters. We've got Mario, Luigi, Peach, Yoshi, Bowser. I'm the red. I can't think of their name. We've got Koopa, Toad. So you just pick your favorite character and go. Well, that was short enough. I can give it one more run through. Make sure I didn't miss anything. So the time counts up. Instead of counting down, so there's not a time limit. It tells you how many laps you have left to go. So you can jump. But it does not set you into a drift like it does in the original game. Let's see, B to back up, A to drive forward. X and Y don't seem to do anything. So if Game Builder Garage allowed for a bit more programming of AI, they'd be able to add other racers to this and actually have a race. Another thing I wonder is if they could add um, the power-ups too. It seems to be missing all the power-ups. It's basically just a track from Mario Kart. Look at that, it looks really nice. Overall pretty short, you could take turns trying to see who gets the best time, or if there was a way to add a multiplayer element into the game that'd make it a lot better. Even if you don't have power-ups, adding more obstacles should add enough challenge to it. The next one's based on a game that I haven't played myself, but I've heard some good things about it, and the level is Half-Life Despair, Episode 1 by Shuggy. Whoa, right up in my face. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. So I've never really played Half-Life, so I don't know how accurate this is. Rise and shine, wake up. Yeah, moving. I'm waking up. Wake up and smell the ashes. The city's already burning. Okay, I'm moving. Nothing happening. Wow. Kind of just poofed out of existence. Wake up basically in a pile of garbage. You ever done that? You just wake up, someone's shaking you. They're like, hey, wake up, smell the ashes. Like, Don't you have any coffee? And they wake up and smell the coffee. And they just poof, disappear out of existence. You have the ZR to use the crowbar. Back enemies, break crates. Hold ZL to pick up items. And while holding ZL, press R to throw. Click in the left analog stick once while walking to sprint. So click, you move pretty quick. Clip into the walls a little bit too. So you hold ZL, and you pick up the crate, and then you check it. Now, of course, one thing to test, always, damaging. Nope, can't damage yourself with it. 
But I'm guessing you can damage others? Obviously I got this crowbar. There's gonna be creatures to smack. Got a med kit. Ooh, so I wasn't even at full health. All these have turnips on them? Yep. Or not turnips, carrots. Ah, carrots are just orange long turnips. Just take it out, expand it. Same thing. Okay, so good thing I kept this crate. Uh, what in the world? You sound like a sad cow. Like a really sad Minecraft cow. Bonk. 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 Or you sound like a really sad Chewbacca. Ugh, gross. Now you sound like a ghast. Go from Chewbacca to a ghast. So that's one thing I wonder. So I can hit them through these bars here. I haven't really gotten into the programming side of this. Is there a way to have a hit detection so you couldn't hit them through this? A saw blade? Now, will this stick into a surface? More physics questions. Wasn't close enough. Nope. Alright, more physics. Can I hurt myself? Well, I have to let go of Zeal when I press R. Too close to the wall. Alright, try it this way. Because what's happening is, when I'm pressing throw, it's so close it bounces back and I automatically catch it. So it looks like you can't hurt yourself in any way. Also, it doesn't hurt the crates. I like that they place these extra crates here in case you broke those in the other area. Because obviously you need it for this button. Well, I say obviously. I just step on it, right? Okay, and it opens. Yeah, so you do need one. Already killed the guy over here. Another one over there. Nope. Ooh, vending machine. Soda, please. But you got a... Well, if we're going to go by colors, we're going to say 7-Up, Coke, Fanta, Strawberry Milk, Chocolate Milk, and Squirt. I mean, it could be urine, too. Place is kind of a dump. Yeah, I said wake up and smell the ashes, so the world's probably going to hell. And pick up this. Ooh, yeah. I wonder how much you can pick up in this game. Throw. Can I pick up this? Nope, too heavy. I got a little basketball here. Sad little family. Alright. Three point line. Nope, it doesn't throw that far. Reminds me of the throwing in the game, um, Asmophobia. So you just hold down ZL to auto-catch it, but if you also hold down R at the same time, it'll keep throwing it. Made it! No fanfare, though. Nice bounce physics. So I got these signs. Looks like the, um, what do they call that sword from the Halo games? The electric sword? That's what it looks like. So we got a teeter-totter, pick up these bricks, set it down, weigh this thing down so we can jump on it. Alright, three bricks. Let's see how heavy our character is. Our character is heavier than three bricks. Since there's five bricks here, I'm going to assume you need all five. Alright, five bricks. Equivalent weight to five bricks. Nope, character is heavier than five bricks. You just have to make the jump before it drops. Or just fall off like that. That's a miss, a lack of coordination on my part. Not really a platformer. Not really an FPS player either. Not even really a person. Alright, med pack, unless you took damage last time. Can I go above 100? Nope. But you still use it even if you're at max. 
So you don't have a weird thing on your head. But I still don't trust you. You have a weird face. What? So if I throw this at you, will this make you one of those weird zombie head things? Make you Chewbacca with a gas attached to your head? Here. Nope. What are you saying? Y'all just watching TV? Is some sort of hypnotic program? Now it looks like a person shooting a basket. We got 17 on the screen. Scored 17 points so far. Your team winning? Okay, I'll just leave you to it. Oh, you got the symbol here. These mattresses, you just cannot walk through them. Alright, nothing about this door. I assume there's something to this. Here, put it on your head. What if I break it? Can I break it? Nope. Here, watch this. Ew, it's just sticking the wall like that. See that? That's your new overlord. This is your new god. I'm just breaking your stuff. Don't worry about it. Really? Instead of repairing, repairing your floor, you just put boxes over it? I mean, they don't really seem to care about their house anyway. All right, down we go. That's the most complete game I've played so far, and the person who made it said they're going to make additional episodes, so I wonder if there will be more story elements, too. The next level is based on another popular game I haven't played. This one's a bit more recent, though. It's Doom Eternal Garage by Mr. Tiffles. L for grenade. ZR to shoot, R to switch weapon, B to dash, and A to jump. I mean, this is pretty sweet so far. Oop, apparently I died, so I'm not as good as I thought I was. Oh, I got a shotgun. There's a lot of projectiles. Oh, one hit and you're dead. Also, I've never played Doom either. I haven't played Half-Life, haven't played Doom. But I'd say this is as hectic as I've seen other people playing Doom be. So this seems to be the way better weapon. Because this one actually gets them at a distance. The shotgun, not so much. So I think I saw the video that the creator released of this, and they just kind of dashed up on the platform and dropped a grenade and killed everyone. Ooh, you get a lot of dash. Oop. I'm gonna try to do it like they did. So they dashed up on this ramp and jumped. No, I'm just bad. Got the super dashes. Infinite dashes. Alright, so I guess I won't do that because I'm just not that good. But I'm just gonna keep dashing. What are you gonna do then? Wave dancing on them. Ooh, I got all these wave dashes. Yeah, what do you think about that? Can't even catch me, you're so slow. There's a wave dance all over him like Fox. So this is your regular jump. But if you dash jump, you get a lot of distance. And this feels really nice. Oop. Right under the edge of the platform, though. So are these explosive barrels? Yes, yes they are. So let's try that again. Oh, 
got the BFG, right? Now that's quite the weapon. So you got your shotgun. You got whatever this is. You got the BFG. Or the machine gun. Is it representative of the BFG? I've seen the BFG, right? That's the one that shoots the big blast and then it explodes and kills everyone. You know, they don't know what's going on. You're dead. So one thing I wonder, which I haven't seen yet, is if Game Builder Garage has the ability to give your characters inventories and then you can pick up an item and then use that item. Everything I've seen so far is you have everything and you can select between it. It's my understanding that Doom is a game about revenge, and so next we have another game about revenge, Street Urchin by Psychro. Townsfolk have been eating Urchin's friends. Kill them all! Use your Urchin needles with any trigger button to climb. Kill residents by falling on them from high up with needles out. Find apples to activate poison needles for an instant kill. Rehydrate every 99 seconds with apples, the fountain, or kills. Adivati Town, enjoy thy stay. So we got the fountain over here. What did I spend, like 20 seconds reading that? I'm fine, I still got over a minute. So you gotta get him from the top ropes. Can you jump? I mean, you kind of jump when you put your thorns out, if you retract them fast enough. I'll put you right against the wall so it's a lot easier. So this has got to be like the sturdiest of the urchin that they can even be out of water for 99 seconds. And that witch just accepted her fate. All these people are. It's like they know that they've done wrong and they feel the need to repent. Like, I'm not going to stop you. I know what I've done. Whee! Crush. So it's interesting that the needles by themselves aren't enough. You have to stick in them like a nail or something. You don't have any poison because you have to grab the apples for the poison. So instead, your needles are just sticking deep into their body. And apparently making them explode. Ooh. We got the bakery right there. Bakery and fish market. Interesting. What are you doing staring at these crates? Something really interesting about these crates. That your whole inventory right there. You're restocking. Ah, I missed them. Here, move over this way. You're some sort of weird explorer. Some sort of merchant. RKO out of nowhere. How many people are in this town anyway? So this game says that it's used the entire limit for nodons, so I'd imagine there'd be a lot of people here. Also, there's a 512 nodon limit. seems to be sufficient. Because this is a pretty detailed game when you look at it. You got the ability to climb up walls, you got different character models. You got the collision, phys collision physics. You also got a timer on there where you dry out every after 99 seconds. Oh, I see that apple on a tree. We got the sumo wrestler. I wonder... If there's a way to make it like each of them took hits from different heights in order to get them, because the sumo wrestler is bigger, bigger, so they should be tougher too. So we got the poison right now, so it's faster. If you roll with your spikes in, you're like the Wolverine of fishes. You can just expand your spikes at any time. But I've heard it's painful to be Wolverine because he's like slicing through his skin every time. But I guess you'd probably be used to it. All right, let's use our insta-kill on this person. Staring at the tree. It's very round, very oddly placed tree. Ooh, you can see through the environment. Saying prayers to your god, because you know what's coming. Also, the poison doesn't work, unless you extend your spikes, even if you've got the poison coating on them. And it's a problem you set up in a seaside town right next to the fish who want to take revenge on you. Should have booked it. 
from the top ropes. Boom! Woo! Basically, spider fish. Spider fish, spider fish does whatever a spider fish does. Too far away from the wall, Elsa, get over there. You're like the Elsa mermaid. Dressed in the same colors and everything. Just like your life, you have to let it go. Am not high enough? Curse you. My fish brethren have been suppressed and oppressed by your kind for too long. Let's get what's coming to you. Is this my brethren right here? You're making my... Look at that. See that? Is that... Urchin, ramen, how dare you? Apparently this hurts him enough. You don't even need to take revenge on him by killing him. This, a lifelong of suffering, ought to get it. Ought to be enough. Trying to sweep me away? I am the one who sweeps you away. Basically like saying no you. Ah. So the only high buildings are over there. So these ones are going to want the insta-kill for him. So the apple was on the tree last time, but I don't see the apple on this one. Oh, I do. Hello there. Does each tree have its own apple? Come on. There we go. Now we're cooking with poison. Just you wait. In five short seconds, you will be done for. Now we just gotta get more poison for him, because I don't want to push him over there. Such a, a pain. And he's so heavy. And I just go for the poison every time. Let's see, is the apple always on the same side? Ooh, this one doesn't have an apple. Sorry, man, it's gotta be painful. Wanted to be quick and painless like the poison, apparently. But no. You're gonna have to get stabbed right through your brain. The most painful acupuncture you've ever experienced in your life. The last acupuncture you'll ever experience in your life. Come on, move it. Come on, move over there. Also a lot easier to move them when you have your spikes in. Wearing your green undies today. Should have wore your brown undies. Apparently, I'm running out of time because I'm smoking. Now I'm no longer smoking. I wonder what the time limit is on that. So it's 99 seconds before you dehydrate. How many seconds before you start smoking? Is it like half your time limit? 45 seconds in? You're just having a chill conversation and then an urchin falls on your head out of nowhere? Also, I could probably double kill in this game too. Gotta get that care package. Wee! No, you're too far away. Get close to the building, dummy. Why don't you just kick me away anyway? Just letting it happen? You're reaffirming my belief that you all know what you've done? Should have just lined up and made it easier for me. Killed her from the badge up. I see you two. Are you the last? I'll put you both close together. There you go. Die together. Best friends forever. All over. And then push your stupid head. There we go. Say goodbye to your bestie. Ooh. That's the only morning you're going to get to do. That one little whale. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, an apple that's easy to get this time. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree, does it? Also, I seem to have gained a speed boost. 
unsuspecting. Stalking the last of the prey. To play with your food. Back to where I started in Adovadi Town. Enjoy thy stay. You can check out, but you can never leave. That's a lot of fanfare, too. Look how happy they are. You have avenged us, brother. Thank you. And last but not least, we have the obligatory Minecraft by C. Clitify. I'd say I already got the diamond pickaxe. Man, I'm so cool. So you do the shoulder buttons to change your material from stone or wood. Also sounds like a basketball being punted or bounced. So the wood sounds like a basketball. And the stone sounds like breaking a vase. So it's pretty simple, but you could definitely make some designs out of this. I wonder if you could add more types of blocks too. Clay, porcelain, brick, iron, gold, things like that. Out of the games I played today, I'd say the Half-Life game was probably the best one. I haven't played Half-Life or Doom, so you could try those for yourself and you could let me know how accurate they are to the actual games. All the games that I played looked really good, and it seems to me that Game Builder Garage has a decent lighting engine, so that's something in its favor. Given that it's only $30 and it's on the Nintendo Switch, what it can do is pretty impressive to me anyway. I'm going to leave the video here for now, so if there's any games you want me to try, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.